Hey guys, welcome back to PHT TV. If you have not subscribed yet, please click that subscribe button below. It lets us know what videos you like to see. It lets us know who's watching. So today we have uh, put a size 14 foot in a size 11 shoe. <laughs> Yes, we have crammed the Cornwalls and La Scala's side by side into this room and we have staggered them like we have everything else. So we've got Cornwall, La Scala, Cornwall, La Scala. So they have the, they are equidistant apart from each other from their uh, opposite pair. Same amp setup, same switcher, same everything, same speaker wire. Down to the, down to the T, everything is identical to these. The only difference is going to be the speakers. We changed clothes. We did. We have changed clothes <laughs> since the last video. Because we know we're going to get this comment, no, we did not equalize the speakers. There is a difference of 3 dB sensitivity between these two units. This is speaker versus speaker. This is not a... This response versus that response. Yeah, it's not. If we're we not equalized doing that. it, it would not be If you fair. went out and <laughs> bought a speaker and carried it home, you would get whatever you plugged in. You're not going to drop its output by 3 dB to make it match something else. Un unless you're trying to match front and rear and sides, rounds and all that stuff. That's a different story. It's a different story. <laughs> we're talking stereo and you know, if you were trying to listen to two speakers and concern yourself with the tonal value of that speaker, how it actually represents tonally, then you might want to balance that level. Mm -hmm. We don't care about that. No. We're wanting to go buy a pair of speakers. This is a head to head. Them, yeah, <laughs> carry them home, you're going to have what you get. So we're going to listen to them as they are and not balance that because it is about this speaker versus that speaker, not this tone versus that tone. Yeah, and this speaker versus, versus that speaker this week is the Cornwalls versus the La Scala's. Four. Cornwall four, La Scala four, La Scala AL5, which is, I don't want to talk about that. We ain't going down that road again. No. It's we're a freaking about La Scala <laughs> AL whatever. AL5 La Scala. Oh, there we go. AL5. That's the one. AL5 La Scala versus the Cornwall 4s today. Uh, <laughs> Carry SLI 80HS, QSC ABX switcher, out to the speakers, same speaker wire, same everything all the way across the board. Where do we want to start this time? I will let you decide. Uh, well, I kind of like the idea of like we did last time. We start kind of heavy and move into an easy finish. Okay, you wanna go all the way heavy? Sure. All right, so this is Dracon, the value of all. I'm not gonna go back much past 20 on the computer. <laughs>
Trey is going to try not to be too biased having uh, these in his living room and it's what he's listening to every day as music. So the La Scala's in his ears are probably what everything should sound like. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, you, obviously you're missing the extreme bottom end, but on that mm -hmm. cut, there wasn't much difference. No, on the bottom end, I didn't notice a whole lot of difference. There's, there's not much below 50 hertz in that, in that cut. And, you know, bass guitar hit the E every once in a while. But uh, other than that, there's not much there. Kick drum. But you're getting below 50 hertz on the La Scala because it doesn't roll off like a rock. You know, you get a few more hertz out of the body, just not as not at 105 dB. <laughs> I feel so, like I did, did notice the difference in the mid-range as well, though. It was... That was where the biggest difference was for me, was the mid-range. It was and just I think like that's right that's, when it hit right that right at that crossover point, we were losing it a little bit in the Cornwalls. I think the uh, the difference in the horns are are part of that. Let's do some some grunge. Maybe Matt Summers. Do you want to do that? Uh, we heard that mycelium cut a while back. Do you want to try that one again? Yeah, let's do that. I'm easy, but it costs a lot. There, there, there's your 30 hertz. teeter-totter. Hmm? Every time the Cornwalls were on, the bottom end went up. Every time the Lascalas went on, the top end went up. <laughs> it was the teeter-totter. Uh, <clears throat> you could definitely tell the difference in the low the intro. The intro to that song is just, oh. Yeah, that <laughs> E string on that bass guitar was, and the harmonics below that were really kicking in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. You might be able to see in some of these videos when we're doing it, you could see the camera shaking while we're doing this. I feel like this might be one of those scenes. <laughs> <laughs> could be. <laughs> uh, yeah, because we, we are cranking at a fairly good volume. We need an SPL meter in here sometime just to give an idea. To give you an idea, <laughs> um, we have the Carry SLI-80 currently set to 75% volume, but my volume on my computer is only up to 20%, and it's still kicking this hard, so. I listen to La Scala every day. I know what that thing sounds like. Yeah. Those sound phenomenal. They still sound good. I'm not 100% sold on the tweeter versus mine yet. I don't think that's enough for me to go buy new ones. You have the AL4s? Yeah, the last version of this. The 70th anniversary. Yes. So different tweeter. But uh, uh, there's not enough up there for me to hear anymore <laughs> that it matters. <laughs> The bottom end on the Cornwall base reflex cabinet has always been better. I've always liked the Cornwall because of that reason for since as long as it's been around. The uh, the, the impact from the folded horn on the La Scala is absolutely uh, dramatic, a as you would expect from a folded horn. It mm -hmm. should be dramatic. It should be uh, a better way to connect the driver of the speaker to the air in the room. That horn and all horns are basically a transformer. It transforms the high pressure air into the low pressure air room and lets it do it more effect, more efficiently, more effectively. All right, so we've done Dracon, we've done Matt Summers. Let's try 
Let's try to still. Garage Band. Well, I think, <laughs> what is this recording now? This recording is going on 20 years, years old. old. Yeah, in, in a literal old. garage band. Yeah. <laughs> in a garage. So this one's called Everything by the band Distill. Let's check it out. In my mind, the the La Scala is a lot, uh, a lot uh, I wouldn't say a lot, but more revealing here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could I could hear what I noticed on that track again is the cymbals and how it doesn't sound like a cymbal, and you hear that more in the La Scala than the Cornwall. The Cornwall is a little more forgiving in that. Mm -hmm. um, not the least, exponential versus the track tricks. Well, I don't know if that's the case because that should be up in the tweeter. Uh, but it's probably because of the crossover itself, the way he blends the two together and that, that crossover and that driver rings out. Okay. Let's go to the other track. Let's see. Jason Helms? Yeah. All right, so this one is Jason Helms, My Kind of Woman, more of a country track. I've known Jason Helms for a long, long time. I've known several of these artists for a long, long time, so uh, I know them Personal. Their music very well, mm -hmm. so uh, it's fun to get back and listen to it because I know what it's supposed to sound like. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's kind of what Distill was for me. I used to go to their shows and see them live. And you recorded so, them before, so yeah, I actually shot videos for them before as well. So a um, bit of a nostalgia for both of us on different tracks as mm -hmm. well. But this one is Jason Helms, "My Kind of Woman."
is it? It's just uh, vocals only by themselves. That's what I thought. It seemed like a broken record. You know, the bottom end, that punch mm -hmm. out of the La Scala is great, but the depth out of the Cornwall helps. Mm -hmm. The top end for me are pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. I don't have a tremendous amount. The mid-range horns, the La Scala is a little more in your face, but that's probably because it's 3 dB hotter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, the way they represent themselves are unique individually, but work really well. Let's do one more um, and then we will, I think we'll call it for this one. Um, this one is Trey Johnson, Bring My Baby Home. And this is a live recording and right. it's one of our favorites here, I think. Yeah. We love them all, but uh, this is our go-to. We, I don't think we've ever not listened to the full track. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> not that it's a long song, it's only two minutes long, but still. Um, it's a great song, a great track for this kind of uh, listening. <coughs> That's good, Trey. That's real good. <laughs> How's that? All right. So one thing I did notice about one thing I did notice about this one was I noticed some in the Cornwalls over the Lascalas. I'm not sure if the Lascalas were hiding it or did you hear a little bit of background noise in mm -hmm. the Cornwalls, uh, which is normal for I mean it's a live recording, but I'm not sh I couldn't pick out what it was that I was hearing. Did you know, like a scratching almost? Yeah, I don't know Additional was, movement? I don't know if it was him moving around or if it was the, the just the resonance in the room or what it was, but yeah, I, I heard what you're talking about. So when you turn on the La Scala, the, it's- You're it's, there. It's kind of grabs you and slaps you around <laughs> a little bit, and says, yeah. sit down and have another beer. Yeah, because <laughs> you know? you're, you're in that tavern with him. <laughs> you definitely are. I mean, it's almost smell-o-vision, <laughs> you know? Uh, uh, man, that is just so good at doing that. You know, that folded horn and all is just so good at doing that. Yeah, you feel like you're there with the La Scala. With the Cornwall too, but there is definitely the advantage of the La Scala there. That, that folded horn makes the difference in that part of the world. Now, nothing to take away from the, from the Cornwall. No, you know, that's, that is... But I mean, they're in tears for that reason. <laughs> yeah. 
Now, we're you're, here you're to trying to decide. You. You're trying. They're trying to decide from ta- listening to us whether they want to spend the extra few dollars to get there. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't going to add that. I said extra <laughs> few, dollars, few dollars. <laughs> just a few dollars more for the La Scala. Uh, and if you have the right space for it, absolutely. There is. It is a game changer. Those La Scalas are. And before somebody asks, yes, you can use them in a home theater. I thought that if you played movies through these, they just stopped playing. Oh, is that what it works? I um, thought that they, they, it sense they, that it's a movie, so you can't use it in home theater yeah. anymore. I wonder if movie electrons and stereo electrons have, music electrons have different shapes. I think that's what it is. So it just comes into the speaker differently. So you need to get something that's labeled home theater. Yeah. Everything we have played with so far, we have used, we have seen used, we have, we will put our stamp on it, use it in home theater, use it in two channel stereo, use it for whatever you want. Clips got the memo to do pro speakers or to do 70 volt speakers versus home speakers. And the memo said, don't make them suck. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so they, they ignored how they were gonna be used and made them sound like a good speaker. It doesn't matter what it, what it used as. All right, so I think that about wraps us. Be sure to like and subscribe below. Please comment if you have any questions or if you have requests for future videos, let us know. Um, we have made playlists for every single one of our videos in this channel. We've added to different playlists. So we have one playlist that's all of our videos. We have playlists that's just the compares. We have playlists that is just the history, just the unboxings and so forth. So like and subscribe, check out the playlists. And until next time. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Jason. I'm Trey. We'll, we'll see you next in. time. Cherry's right. about 69,000 years old now. Yeah, no, not quite that 85? old. 85? 57. 74. <laughs> <laughs> ding, 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 ding. You have a winner. That haptic sensation, that train going by. Not necessarily. hit your mic like seven times. <laughs> I did, didn't I? Yeah. That's going to be good on your, on your recording. Uh, I think we might have peaked there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe.